guys, it's your girl KK. So I am going on another cruise. We're going on a cruise to Alaska and I'm so excited. I've never been on an Alaskan cruise before. Right now we are at the Doubletree Hotel that's right by the airport. Never stayed here before. They have like, you know, this, I guess it's like a little man-made lake or whatever around the hotel. And we have a room that has like this little balcony or whatever. So, I mean, it's decent. It's not the nicest, fanciest place, but it's decent. So yeah, we stayed here, flew in yesterday and it wasn't too bad. We took a flight from Las Vegas, transferred in LA and flew into Seattle. So it's my first time in Seattle. Um, very, very cool. It really, is giving the vibe that I felt like it would give just cold, wet, rainy here in August, end of August. So yeah, we're going to be boarding the ship this morning, just waiting for them to come and grab our bags to take them down. And we're gonna just take an Uber to the port, which is about 30, 35 minutes away, I believe. So yeah, I just wanted to check in, say hi, let you guys know it is another, um, cruise vlog and you'll probably get a lot of scenic shots since this is Alaska different than the Caribbean cruises that I love to go on because it's going to be cold and wet and rainy but I'm excited because it's going to be different you know and so yeah so anyways I will check in with you guys later maybe once we get on the ship but I'll try and include as much visual candy for you guys as possible okay so I'll see you in a bit guys we get in an uber getting ready to head to the cruise port and so excited so excited let's get there <laughs> how are you doing this morning good good how are you guys good right. So you guys, we made it to the port, uh, Pier 91 for Carnival Cruise Ships here in Seattle. And um, Cubby went to go get a supporter to help, you know, take our bags to the cruise ship. We probably should have stopped way back there where the, all the porters are, but we are here now. And so that is the ship, the Carnival Spirit right behind me. We're gonna go through the process, get on the ship, and I'll be back. Mm -hmm. 
So we are here. Waiting on the porter. Come pick these bags up. I will say this is the first time my wife ever packed this way. You guys see we only got three suitcases. Usually we travel in five deep, two backpacks. And then it'd be an extra big giant bag inside of one of them. So that she buy everything that she see, we can go, go back with it. I do have an extra bag in there for all oh. the things that I'm oh, going that, to that's buy. Cool. That's cool. <laughs> so, that's cool. anyway, but yeah, we are here. I'm excited. It is kind of cold and gloomy. Not super rainy right now, though, which is nice. I can what? I can order it now. Only okay, I'm sure. I'm gonna be here at three o'clock if you wanna do your mastering and come back. Okay, thank you. it up we made it to the room y'all so we are in our cabin i got my water here i always have to get snacks for me and boo because sometimes oh. we get on the ship and we be oh you see the needle i don't need to do nothing that's all i wanted to do see the needle oh yeah that's enough just to see it from there that's it <laughs> so off my bucket list really 
We can see the needle right now. Is that, so is that downtown? No. So yeah, you can see the landmark downtown right here from our balcony, which is nice. Very nice. And here you can see, I'll show you guys the balcony, but Try not to drop my phone over the edge. So over there is where we drove up and came in, dropped off our luggage. Over here is the ramp where you get on the ship after check-in. You can see people down there. They're bringing on all the luggage, all the supplies. Hubby is over there, probably working knowing him. <laughs> and this is our balcony. This is a nice size balcony, huh, boo? This got three chairs and a table and it has a lounger. So this is a nice size balcony and yeah, this view is crazy right now. And there's some houses over there. Show you guys these houses. How they look on the hill. But yeah, let's go inside. I'll show you guys our suite before I start unpacking. Cause that's what I have to do is unpack. But this is the suite, the bed. They have this, you know, big mirror. Hello. Uh, behind the bed, they have the two nightstands. Nice window over there too, to see out of. I like that. Nightstand, nightstand. This closet here. We stayed in a cabin like this, similar to this before, so I believe this is the closet that I typically use, um, you know, to put most of my clothing and stuff in. There's a lot of hangers. <laughs> Somebody left a lot of plastic hangers in here, which is nice. Small TV as usual. We have our little seating area, which is nice to have, you know, so you don't have to just be sitting on the bed all the time. And then there's, you know, the window and the balcony, patio, whatever you want to call it. Room, couch, or seats and couch has like a little, um, what do you call it? You know, desk area, if you need that. Uh, I wonder if they were still doing something in here. I guess not. I don't know. This is an interesting lab. Never seen one of those before. But you have your glasses where you can put some stuff. I also typically use the drawers and stuff over here. I put like miscellaneous stuff in this triangle shaped cabinet. I usually put purses and bags and stuff in there. But as you can see, I always pre-order some drinks and cookies. It's like our usual. Look, hubby, got, hubby finally got his platinum. <laughs> you got any words to say about your platinum card, boo? Nah, they should have been giving me that. Really? So he got his platinum. He happy now. Yeah, <laughs> we on the same level. But yeah, so over here, I don't know. This time I might actually use this area because over here they have the vanity, you know, for the whoever to sit and do their makeup. I know, isn't it? It's tiny. Um, with some drawers and a little stool there as well. But there's another closet over here. And this is where, you know, they keep the life vest, extra blanket, and some more shelves, which is nice. And then, last but not least, we have the bathroom, which is a double sink, which is nice. You have the trash, you know, of course, the usual amenities. Nice lighting in here, actually. Typically, the bathrooms... The lighting is not that great, but the lighting is pretty decent in here. So, yeah, and then, so there are different shelves. You know, this is hubby's side. I, I, I'm a creature of habit, so <laughs> this is where I put all his stuff. This is where I put all my stuff over here on the right. You know, there's the mirror over here as well, so it works out. Um, and then there's a shower. And they always fill up 
you know, the shampoo and body wash. Um, and then we also get a jetted tub, which I love. Very, very nice to have on those nights when I just want to relax, you know? So, have that. But that is it for the cabin, the bathroom, the closets, all that good stuff. This is the view, you know, when you first walk in. So, you have an idea of that. And I'm ready to start my vacation. So, y'all gonna get some clips after this little visual, little music, <laughs> whatnot. Okay, see y'all later. How they are taking stuff off the ship and putting it on the ship. But I want to show you guys them putting some of the luggage. Yeah, you can see there, see they're putting a the whole cart of luggage on there. Lifting up the crane and putting it in one of the, you know, little entrance, entrance spots on the ship, which you can't see from here, but, and I'm still waiting for my luggage, so, <laughs> hopefully it's in one of these that they putting on right now. Is that my suitcase on top? No. I have a pink suitcase. Still waiting on my luggage and then I think we're gonna go and get some lunch.
Yeah. So that's the bar. Kind of looks like a um, setup for the comedy show, but it's, you know, it's not that type of setup. This must be the club. <laughs> it's interesting. I'll be checking this out one night. Yeah, it kind of.
guys, so this is day two, which is, let me turn this TV down, which is a C day. There we go. Which is a C day, and I'm just looking outside, out the balcony. Say hi, boo. Hello. <laughs> So, yeah, it's a beautiful, beautiful clear day out here. Really, really nice. It's not raining or anything today. At least not right now. It's about 1.10 in the afternoon. So it's still a little early, but not super early. But you can see we are moving along very nicely. And off in the distance, you guys probably can't really see, but let me see if I can zoom in some. And you can see, you see there's some mountains out there. It's not super clear, so you can barely see them, but yeah, those, these are some mountains off in the distance. But yeah, it's another beautiful day out here on the ocean. There's another ship out there too. I wonder if I can zoom in on that ship, hold on. <laughs> so, you can see it somewhat, but there's another cruise ship out there heading the exact same way as us. So, some more people out having a nice vacation. But, yeah, I just want to check in and show you guys. Well, you guys, I did a little bit of gambling. Lost. <laughs> so, hopefully I'll win later on tonight or tomorrow. But... There's not really anything open right now except for the burger joint and like pizza. I don't want any pizza. Oh, the sandwich place is open too, but I don't want a sandwich. So I'm just going to have some fries for now. I kind of want some sushi, but just going to settle for some fries for now. I'll show you guys if I do get some sushi, what it looks like on this ship. So these are my fries. I got them from Guy's Burger Joint. Um, hubby actually got a burger, so his looks good. Looks like he got a chili burger, but I didn't want no burger, so just had a surprise. Thursday morning and since we don't get into our first port until like one o'clock this afternoon I think I'm just going to get me a big cup of coffee and maybe a light continental breakfast or something and bring it back to the room at least the coffee and just sit on the balcony and look at the water this morning because I just kind of want to relax before I get my day really started I mean, it's vacation, right? So yeah, I'm waiting for hubby to get out of the shower and just kind of freshen up before we go and find some coffee and some breakfast. So just wanted to say good morning. This is what, day three? First port, which is, you know what? I don't know why I can't remember it. Let me get the paper so I can say it correctly. <laughs> I think it's Tracy Arm Forge. But yeah, it's our first port. 
Tracy Arm Ford, but because it's spelled weird, there's like a random J in there, kind of like my name with a random L in there. <laughs> it's kind of hard to figure out how to pronounce it. So yeah, I want to just grab some coffee, relax, chill out there in the beautiful gloriousness of the ocean, see the ocean and God's nature. And yeah, I'll check in with you guys later. I'll give you guys some little, oh, we're watching the National Democratic National Convention right now. <laughs> that's the only thing that's on and some movies, but yeah, it's just beautiful. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. And I will see you guys in a little bit. you guys this is the little vanity area um, on the cruise ship I'm actually on my Alaska cruise right now and I'm trying to decide if I want to film like a little makeup look I got this new palette from Nomad Cosmetics this is their latest palette which <laughs> is absolutely gorgeous and I'm dying to try it so I brought it with me because I didn't have time to film anything prior to me you know coming on my vacation but this palette is absolutely gorgeous so i want to play with it you know while i have some downtime on the ship i brought a couple of other palettes as well just in case i wanted to play in makeup so i have here two glaminatrix palettes this one is the u beauty which i've had for quite a while um really really pretty colors in there and then i have the glaminatrix sugar and spice which has a nice variety of shades in there as well. But as you can see, I just kind of laid out, I have my lashes <laughs> and applicators here because, you know, just in case I lose some lashes while I'm on the ship, I have just a bare necessity travel bag here with, you know, different travel makeup items in there. This is a very small makeup bag that I usually just throw in my purse. I have a little mirror, I have a couple of rolls of brushes you know, some wipes and things like that. Got my coffee and water, but yeah, so I'm really just trying to decide, do I want to film the look or do I just want to do my makeup <laughs> and do some pictures for Instagram? So we'll see if I film it, you guys will be able to check it out in this video. If not, then I would just be chilling, doing my makeup <laughs> while I'm on my Alaska cruise. And, you know, you guys will see the look later. So, anyways, let's see what's happening in here. You know, the lighting is okay. It's actually not that bad compared to normal, like, hotel lighting. It's actually not that bad in here. It's actually pretty good. But 
we'll see so let me lay my stuff out and see if i can get comfortable doing my makeup in here cool you know what this is exactly how I thought it would look. <laughs> yeah. Me too. I thought it would be a little clearer. Mm -hmm. anyway. This is exactly how you thought it would look. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My girl out here with her face beat. Out here in Alaska. You mad? No, I'm glad. Sorry, you sound like you mad. What you mean you glad? I, I'm happy. <laughs> Ain't no right answer, huh? Nope. <laughs> So they have, what are those tenders? They have tenders here at, well, well, I mean, that's they, Alaska tenders. Hi. I know, but we went to, it's too crowded. It's too crowded. So we brought food back. Yeah. Yeah. You know, probably going to town. trying to clean our room but we now we, we came back we brought our lunch back to the room because it was too crowded in the on the Lido deck deck nine where all the buffet is I hear Lido deck. on the Lido deck everything was happening on the Lido deck on the love boat okay that's where all the excitement was but they have tenders I guess these are the Tenders out here in Alaska, they look a little different than the ones that we've been on before. I don't like taking tenders. Line be long. You know, you got it. Most of them do, they take a lot of people. But most of them, it's like, you know, you gotta make sure that you get back in time because you don't want to miss the ship time getting back on the boat. But yeah, these look a little different than the tenders that I'm used to. But it's raining. You guys probably can't see from my phone footage, but it is raining. And so zoom out a little bit. And this is what it's looking like out here. Lots of clouds. fooling around with hubby eating lunch and watching TV and we missing all the scenery out here because we thought that those boats was for us to get off but I guess those were boats for excursions. certain excursions to get off and take them so let's take a look at some of this scenery y'all because apparently we're not getting off the boat and now I'm sure they got off on the, huh, in the town huh? mm-mm you know what? I'm about to ride this tender right in here. You want your sheets on. Really? 
<laughs> Whatever. You can see good out here, but when you finish filming. Oh yeah. It is freezing. Wow. Oh my goodness. Yeah, it's super cold, but the scenery is incredible. It would be so cool to see a bear like on the edge of a mountain or something out there frolicking about, right? Let me see if I can fix this. No, I'm like that night, no good. Oh, a waterfall. You see that? Oh, you going outside now? No, I'm showing you. <laughs> a waterfall? Oh, I see it. Wait, hold on now. Oh, you want me to go outside? After all, <laughs> after all that. Yeah, you outside. It's cold. It's free. You stay cold. Why you, why you I mean, know, I you guess know. I'm just I'm excited because I'm in Alaska. So that's a waterfall, you guys. Oh, I can see it too. <laughs> I mean, I told you, well, it was a no, but I'm seeing when, when you zoom in, sometimes it's not clear enough to be able to see, you know, the water actually moving. Can you see any bears up on my <laughs> No, I was looking for bears earlier. Let's see if I can get a little closer. Y'all see the water moving from the waterfall? Our tour guide said it's an iceberg coming. So. <laughs> <laughs> Where is it at? Right there. Oh, okay. Let's zoom out some so y'all can see the ice. I changed my hat over to a ranger hat. So Maybe. <coughs> yeah, yeah that's a big one. Mm -hmm. This iceberg out here. Okay, I'm going in now. Uh So I'm headed down to the shops because I would like to purchase a perfume. I like to purchase a scent. Every time I go on a cruise ship, I don't know why, but I feel like I need to get me a new scent every time I get on the ship. So <laughs> I'm going to the shops, which are on three. Hubby is going to gamble. I don't know if I'm going to gamble. Um, she going to come. <laughs> I don't know how I might a little bit I might not I might wait but yeah I'm going to go check out the shops and see what they got I decided to come out for a little while first just to kind of look at the scenery outside I'm in a different part of the ship as you can see here there are people here looking at the scenery But let me show you what we're looking at. Absolutely gorgeous. Beautiful. Icebergs floating by. This is just... The scenery is just incredible, you guys. It's amazing.
Okay, you guys, so this is the scent I chose. I chose this Chloe. Is it Nomad? This one here, very pretty. So that's the one I'm gonna grab today. But as you can see, they have several different scents on the ship to choose from. They came and made up the bed, made me a new animal. <laughs> Looks like a rabbit. Tricks are for kids. Still beautiful scenery going on outside, but yes, I did do a little bit of shopping. <laughs> so I'm gonna go back out. I just wanted to drop these bags off in the room because I don't wanna be carrying them around, so. <clears throat> I got hubby some snacks. His favorite candy bar is Twix. So got him a couple of Twix out of the little snack shop so he can snack on those when he gets hungry in the room. What's going on here? Okay. And then I bought a bag. <laughs> Very last minute impromptu purchase because I was there and I was like, wait a minute, are you guys going to have a sale? Usually they have it like towards the end of the cruise, but he's like, no, everything's 50% off. So I bought me this cute little guest bag. Look how cute this is. So cute. They had a lighter one that I was going to get, but I saw this one and just like had to have it. So of course it has... You know, long strap, so looks like I can wear it crossbody. Has a zipper in the back, which I love because I like to stick my phone in the outside of my purse. It has two separate compartments and a zipper, and it has you know the guest emblem on the inside. So, yeah, this is really cute. Every single time I go on a cruise, I buy a bag, a backpack or both and I buy a perfume. That's like my thing when I go on cruises. So yeah, kind of got that out of the way already. Very, very happy about it. <laughs> so <clears throat> let me show you the perfume that I got. It smells really nice. This is Chloe, is it No Maid? I thought it was Nomad, but there's an E on there. So Chloe No Maid and let me just open this up. I already showed you guys in the store, so if you have this, you know what it looks like, or if you've seen it, you know what it looks like, but I have not seen this one before. I have a Chloe, but it's not this one. Um, I think the one I have, 
I'm not sure. Don't get me the lion child. But this one is really pretty. Look at that bottle. Really, really pretty. And smells delicious. I already have perfume on, so I'm not going to put any on. But I will go ahead and spray a little bit on my box. Just so I can smell it. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's nice. Don't ask me what the notes are because child I don't know <laughs> but very very pretty so this will be added to my collection um I think I paid like 144 or something like that for it I think it was like about 144 145 got that um and I bought some chips also to snack on in the room these are mesquite barbecue chips and I bought a couple of different flavors because hubby be grubbing, okay? So, this one is original sea salt. Got that one. And then I also got some Pringles, my favorite, sour cream and onion. I bought some plain M&M's. Hubby and I have been been binge watching Game of Thrones. Like when it was out and everything and it was all the rage, we didn't watch it. I didn't watch it. We didn't know what was going on. But now <clears throat> that I started watching it and it's like eight seasons for me to get through, I've just been binge watching it. <laughs> it's just each episode, each season. So I think I'm on, we're on season five now. I think we might be moving to season six tonight or tomorrow. But that show that series is insane and so i'm just like i know when it's over i'm gonna be irritated but i'm pretty sure i saw a spinoff series to watch so i'm happy about that but anyways that's what we you know be watching when we be in the room in the cabin snacking on stuff when we not out roaming the ship and i bought some mentos okay um this is insane because it's huge okay but it's like a bunch of the little individual packs i guess which you know these will last me forever but these are just like <clears throat> nice to snack on you know when you're just needing something to chew on or whatever something sweet so and i like to just like throw them in my purse or whatever so child bought this whole big old thing <laughs> Mentos. Listen, your girl likes to shop, even on a cruise ship, okay? I'm in the store shopping. Um, and then what I originally went to the store for was some more sweatshirts because y'all seen the uh, weather out here. And although I did pack appropriately, I packed long sleeve shirts and a uh, rain jacket, a puffer jacket, you know, like layers. I did pack in layers. I didn't pack as many like just regular sweatshirts that I like to wear and throw on. I kind of got out of the habit of wearing them because um, having hot flashes, I don't like to be taking sweatshirts and putting them on and off, on and off. You know, it's like my temperature fluctuates too much. So I typically, I started wearing the zip up kind because they're easier to take off. But I haven't been having hot flashes as bad as I did earlier in the year and last year so I think I'll be okay with some sweatshirts so <clears throat> they had these um for like 24 bucks each so I just got a couple of sweatshirts of course I needed to get some um Alaska shirts anyway so I got a couple of sweatshirts that I could throw on when I get off the ship or just roaming around the ship child because it's cold on this ship too so I got a blue one and I got a gray one. And this one, what does this say? The Last Frontier. And then it has Carnival on here as well. So, you know, just some cute little basic sweatshirts that I could throw on with my jeans or like my sweats and keep it pushing. Okay, so yeah. So that's it for my little Carnival ship shopping haul. <laughs> snacks purses perfume sweatshirts i mean i got it all okay i keep looking over here because y'all this ugh, let me show you what i'm looking at listen 
crazy just sitting in my cabin looking out the window watching these mountains go by with the clouds and the water it's it's insane when i tell you that i am so happy and thankful to have experienced this alaska cruise that is like an understatement it's like it looks really overcast and cloudy right now i know the weather changes a lot out here but it's just amazing so yeah look at that beautiful so so anyways that was my haul that was the view and i think i'm about to go to the casino maybe play a little bit see if i can win some of my money back okay and i'll give it to you guys later Good morning, you guys. So I came out on my balcony to see what's going on. We've reached another port on this Alaska cruise. As you can see, there's a couple of other ships here, Norwegian, and then like, looks like a smaller cruise ship. But we're in Skagway. And this is where we're going to be doing our train ride excursion. Beautiful, peaceful, calm out here. I believe it's maybe about 59 degrees today, so not super cold. It's actually nice out here. Long sleeves should be fine. I'll take a lightweight rain jacket just in case. But you can see here on the dock, there are people getting on and off the ship. We've been here for a few hours now, I believe. But we just had breakfast on the Lido deck, a little buffet style. And we are going to be doing a train excursion today. I actually just saw the train leave. So our excursion is in about two hours. And they say it's right across from the boat. So I see a train uh, over here on the other side of this boat. I don't know if you guys can see a little bit of it. It's that green and yellow. I believe but the ones that have been leaving they've been leaving from right about here and they're red so I believe our train will be leaving from over here somewhere and it's like red but yeah excited to check it out this will be our first time getting off the ship we didn't end up getting off the ship in um what was it uh Tracy Arm Fort Fjord got it Tracy arm fjord <laughs> we didn't even end up getting off the um the did I say get off the bus we didn't end up getting off the ship there because it was only the people that had that extra like, super expensive excursion that got off so we didn't get off
quick, we have water bottles in the back of the car. If you have too much of those, restrooms are right up here. And in the back of your All Aboard magazine is a map of the route that we're taking today. Yes. Beer? I wish. <laughs> if you find any, let me know, okay? We'll share. Uh, in the back of your All Aboard magazine is that map. If you, if you need one of those maps in a different language, this is what we got. <laughs> let me know if you recognize anything, we'll get you the right one. Why are you are you already not having fun? <laughs> it's about a two and a half to three hour trip. I wasn't exactly sure last time, but two and a half to three hours. This is close. We will, however, be seeing our conductor, Conductor Pemberton, who is in charge of our train, and assisting him is our brakeman, Danielson. On your seats, you should have already found a complimentary copy of our All Aboard magazine. If not, or if you'd like any extras, additional copies are located at either the front or rear of your coach car. These guides are full of useful information about the White Pass and Skagway area. The back cover folds out into a rail map, which you can use to follow along as we embark from Milepost Zero, Skagway, Alaska, to the White Pass Summit at Milepost 20.4.
took that train and did the tour. And it was pretty cool, actually. It was pretty cool. Nice, scenic ride. <laughs> really, <laughs> while I'm in the middle of my video. But yeah, it was a very nice scenic tour. Had a good time. I'm pretty sure hubby fell asleep a couple of times because of all the rocking back and forth of the train. I fell asleep a couple of times too. Let me show this monument thing. It's very cool. Yeah. Is that what that is? <laughs> we just got off the train I had to stop so I can get some video of the monuments and stuff but yeah it was a very nice tour the weather is lovely out here I'm not cold um, it feels good yeah it feels really good it's beautiful it's clear I'm breathing nice and easy <laughs> the air is crisp <laughs> My husband, forever the comedian, right? Yeah, this is a very, very different type of cruise than what we're used to. Going to the Caribbean and, you know, being in a nice hot sun and being on the beach and all that stuff. Very different type of cruise environment, even people. Um, you know, different demographic age wise nationality wise um but i'm having a good time <laughs> very relaxed very kicked back very chill um and i'm excited for catch a can because that is where we're going to do the crab boat right yeah um, yeah tomorrow in juno we don't have anything planned so Tomorrow should be a nice, easy, breezy you day. A king crab, I think that's what it is. In Juno? Yeah. Okay, so we might have some king crab in Juno, but no excursion. Right now we're walking back to the ship. I'll show you guys the view. So we're just headed back to the ship now. It's us. Is that another ship? Yeah. Dang, another ship pulled up right next to us. I'm gonna walk on that side. Ruby Princess. Ruby Princess. I'm gonna walk on this side. And pulled up like right by it. <laughs> it's okay, baby. We can walk. Walk to the ship. So this is the view, walking back is beautiful, but it feels amazing out here, you guys. Amazing. So yeah, we're gonna go back. I'm starving, I'm hungry. I'm not really in the mood to try and find something to eat here. So I'm gonna get on the ship, have some seafood probably, um, on the ship. <laughs> you got any words, boo? <laughs> yeah, he's trying to set me off because <laughs> I hate when he do that. I'm so sick of that. But anyway, yeah, I'll catch y'all later.
arrived in Juno. We don't have any excursions for today so we're just gonna get off and try and have a seafood lunch later. We're only here from 7 to 2 30 today so not all day but this is the weather. It's very quiet and peaceful out here. Well, there's that Norwegian cruise ship from earlier. So they back down a little bit behind us, I guess. This is a nice looking ship. Silver Sea. Never seen one of these before. Very cool. I like the fact that I get to see so many different type of ship types of ships out here. Here's a little one. A little boat coming. Y'all, my husband let me sleep through the whole stop of Juno. We left Juno at three o'clock and now it's 3.30. And I didn't even get to get off in Juno. But I ain't tripping though. <laughs> it's all good. I knew he was gonna do that. They just put your mama in the throne. She sat in that iron throne. I told you. You said she was queen again. Getting there binge watching Game of Thrones. But wait. <laughs> oh, what your daughter would do, the girl that learned the many faces, the people with no faces. She went back and killed the old man. Not right you woke up. She killed the man and killed her brother. And the woman, remember when she had just got there? Mm -hmm. I don't know what you're talking about. You remember the, the girl was, that dude was taking her to her brother, Bumpy Face, too. Remember when they got there, it was a uprising, and she saw the book get killed, and then he just picked her up and they left. Mm -hmm. That old man that was running that castle. She killed him. She had one of them faces on too. What? Yeah. And now the dragon coming. Mm. She loaded up. The other two dragons met up with the black dragon and they were all flying. Mm -hmm. Now she had all the ships. She What about the uncle? The one that did he find his niece and nephew when they took off in the ships? Oh. So, oh, look, she got all three. Is she riding the black one? 
She was. Mm, mm, mm. Um, I didn't even look at the desserts, honestly. Let's see. Um, mm. We have an apple tartine, cheesecake, chocolate spear. I'll do cheesecake. Yep. Classic Caesar salad, New York strip steak, Yukon gold mash, and the broccoli on the side, and the cheesecake. Yes. Thank you, Carmel. And Aaron. What was that salad you said? This baby spinach. Do you want to try that? Yeah. Thank you. Many, many more years to celebrate, okay? Thank you. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Many, many more. Many, many more. guys we are in Ketchikan and as you can see I am all bundled up because I don't want to get wet and I don't want to be cold it's very very overcast and gray out here and it's actually raining right now so oh, and there's some more ships behind us see there's like two other ships 
that I can see parked right behind us. But yes, it is cold and rainy. Today we have an excursion on a crab boat um, where they go out and catch the crabs and they kind of let us touch whatever it is, I guess, that they pull out of the ocean and all that good stuff. So I'm thinking it's gonna be a lot of fun, but I'm pretty sure it's gonna be cold and wet because it's already cold and wet. Let me show you what it looks like. So, yeah. So as you can see, it is very, very gray, very overcast. It's actually wet and rainy. You probably can't really see the rain. I don't know if you can see it on the, you know, dripping down on the little lifeboats or whatever. But yeah, and those are the two ships that you can see that are just behind us. Celebrity and I can't tell what the other one is, but <clears throat> yeah, very cold, wet, and rainy, but I'm excited. I'm really excited to do the crab boat, so I'll try to get as much footage as I can and let you guys check it out too. <laughs> so they said the end of the okay oh, it's feel like concrete a little bit yeah it is raining raining out here y'all gotta protect my phone a little bit my phone's waterproofness is gonna get tested out today It is wet and rainy. So we're headed down to where we get on the fisher fisher boat, crab fisherman's boat. Oh, 
but we're making our way down to the boat, you guys. As you can see, Hubby has on his <laughs> rain slick and boots, but we are still getting drenched. There's a large aluminum box in front of the wheelhouse for Captain Kevin's driving. Adults and children's life jackets in there. And then in our four peak where our three restrooms are, there's a couple forward compartments, adults and children's life jackets there. We've got them all over the boat, enough for everybody, okay? I'll talk about those three restrooms really quick. Use them anytime today. They're nicer than any restrooms on any crab boat I've ever been on, all right? <laughs> no problems. Now, should we have to get off the vessel early? And we've never had to do that on tour before, but if we did today, here's how it would look. Andy and myself would get up top, probably taking those steps. We'd get behind the wheelhouse, kick over some canisters. Those canisters hit the water and turn into 50-person life rafts. We would tether those right over here, and this is where we would get on, okay? Smoking, one place only on this vessel, up those steps. Back behind that wheelhouse, you could do that back there, okay? I think we're the only tour on the island that allows that even. Now, who's seen the deadliest catch? Awesome. If you haven't seen the show, don't sweat it. We're going to show you a lot of stuff from there, but a lot of stuff beyond that. But for those of you that have seen the show, Captain talked about it, that rogue wave that hit this boat on season two. That thing was over 60 feet tall. This boom above me with these lights on the tip, about 35 feet off the water. Imagine another 25 above that, slamming this vessel from this side, putting her on her side. She lost oil pressure and went black ship. That's no lights, no engines, no power, no pumps. She's getting hammered by the Bering Sea. There's only one reason she came back on her keel that day. They had king crab in the hole. They were plugged. It provided weight ballast. It slid into the right part of the boat, even keel, oil pressure, on for another day, okay? Oh, wow. Like Captain said, we have that on board. You can check the footage out. You go right past this passageway right here, get behind these seats into our galley. And there's a television screen with that video looping every four and a half minutes. 
You can also YouTube the Lucian Ballad Rogue Wave. It's one of the most talked about rogue waves ever because it was one of the first ones ever caught on film, okay? Now, for those of you familiar with the show, you can understand some of our equipment before we even get out there. Our launcher, our king block, and our coiler right here. We're going to demonstrate all this gear today and show you how it works. But we're also going to pull up some long line gear with this block, and we may pull some stuff up with this block if we have time. I never know until we get out there.
Did he just pee? <laughs> Let me see the other side. Good. I'm good. Yeah, I'm good. Anybody watch Spongebob? This is Tad for stuff. Yeah, it's all nice. You're not even prison like this. You're doing like this. Huh? Grab my gun. <laughs> Look, she, she got them like babies, like baby kittens. Oh, down here? Come on. You got an octopus? Who needs a box crab? Anybody? Who needs a box crab? Are you hiding? <laughs> 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 <laughs>
have missed that? Oh my goodness. What? When are you going to have the crab legs and the butter and stuff? Oh, we have them the whole time. Yeah. Oh, so we can buy it now? Yeah. You want to buy the crab legs and the butter now? Yeah, let's just do it now. What do we do with it all? Sit down and eat it. The legs can already split in half. So the shell can pop butter so you can eat it. When do we eat them? You can eat it now. I saw somebody out there eating it earlier. Here, but people also bring it to their seats. Oh. Yeah.
These seas are rocky and ornery, and this ship is a rocking like crazy right now. We are on our way from Ketchikan, Alaska, headed to Victoria, British Columbia, I believe, Canada. And the captain said we got about eight more hours of this rocking and rolling. It's freezing, it's cold, and this ship is rocking. So. I don't know if it's just this time of year or if it's like this, you know, normally, but look at this. And it's it's so funny because I'm holding on to my phone tight, honey. But it's so funny because and it's windy too. I don't mind it. It's like this is what I expect. <laughs> to Alaska so I actually quite appreciate experiencing it even though it is crazy like mad rocky mad shaky and I'm just trying to document as much of this for you guys as possible okay you see how windy it is like yeah I'm not kidding and in my hair <laughs> so you guys they have quite the smorgasbord today in the Lido buffet so I have some rice with pork there's some pasta seafood pasta this is like chicken cordon bleu of some sort I've never had it but I guess that's what that is um what else a little lasagna some salmon and i got some bread so hubby has some fries for us to snack on and he just has some rice and bread and pasta so we're taking it to the room and chill
Okay, you guys, so we're about to have breakfast in the dining room, and I'm so excited. I got some French toast, some grits, sausage and potatoes. Your girl is hungry. It's gonna be a slow morning, slow day. I'm gonna have to pack up our luggage later on tonight. Are we getting off the ship? We might get off the ship tonight. We're only in Victoria from 8 p.m. to midnight, so very strange port time. Um, not able to do much, but we might get off the ship tonight. We might not, because the time we're supposed to have our stuff, our luggage packed and put out for pickup, is during the same time that we're supposed to be off the ship <laughs> at the port, so we'll see. But yeah about to enjoy a nice breakfast and that's it for this morning. Oh, okay, okay, I just saw the, the blow hole. Come on, show me your tail. Oh, blow hole. Come on. I just saw some, oh, right there, right there. Tail, tail, tail.
Victoria, Canada, and as you can see, the weather is not the best. Let me see if I can zoom in. Over here, so you can see the sign. This is Canada, and as you can see, there are people on and off the ship. It is freezing. It's freezing. It's raining. So we're not getting off the ship. It's about 9 o'clock at night. We leave for it at midnight, I believe. And so I just wanted to show you guys <laughs> our visit to Canada. Unfortunately, the weather is not really, you know, cooperating for us to even have a desire to get off the ship for just like a couple of hours. But this is the port, what it looks like. And we can say that we stopped in Canada <laughs> on our cruise but yeah as you can see there's not a lot of people getting on and off the ship and I'm not surprised because uh, you see out there <laughs> that's the ocean out there and it's cold and wet and rainy so yeah we're just settling in for now and I got all my luggage together I'll show you guys I have all my luggage packed already. We have the heater going because it's freezing and we're just about to settle in for the night. So, yep, tomorrow we'll be back in Seattle and we'll be flying home Wednesday. Thank you. 